apply. Um, all right, so let's try to twist this one. And uh, we're going for radial. Right, come on, radial. And we're going to twist this area. Something like that. Okay. And uh, this one is pretty much where it should be. But it would be nice to be able to snap this one to a point or the middle of an edge. So I'm not really sure. And that goes for that goes for all the other uh, edges and control or handles as well. These guys to be able to snap them. Anyway, uh, so you got that, and then you try to rotate, but then it looks kind of well funky. It's not that bad though, actually. In this case, uh, the result was much better than I thought it would be. Uh, maybe because I was using action center mouse instead of action center selection. Yeah. So action center mouse can go over here. That's going to create that. But if I click on that center, we get some cool result here. So that actually bends this in a quite nice way actually and uh, that could be let's just tab that and that could be what you're after it creates a pretty cool result it doesn't quite maintain the volume but not that bad either the other thing you can do is let's see I can take some of these guys and uh, I can create a weight and can blur that somewhat. Now you can use fall off weight map and got somewhat the same result. Again, use action center mouse, not action center selection. Well, let's see. Okay, so. Action center, action center selection will create something like this. Probably not what you want. Could be, but uh, action center mouse will create something like this. Uh, again, tab it to see what it's going to look like when subdivided. Uh, Let's just try to put the mouse over here. Yeah, okay. What about here? Okay, so you can see that we do get some different results here. So you will have to again go to somewhat somewhat the middle of this uh, object and rotate it around that area. Um, now what if what if I had two of these guys? What if this one was like that too? And then I try to use the rotate tool and the weight map. Let's see that the first one works fine, while the other one just looks goes bananas. So you don't want that. If you want to do this, weight blur first. This one, rotate it, and then maybe reset this one. This weight map. Take some of these guys. Set that weight map to 100 again. Put some weight blur on and again rotate with action center mouse like for example this so now got that and you look and you got something that looks pretty cool you can see it almost maintains the volume uh, of course, for uh, 
why not create a thickness to that, right? So just use thicken error. So like that, hit tab. Okay, because of the thing cool looking. Maybe I should just take these guys as well, loop those and uh, create an extra edge here on each side. You can just do that by asking by either cutting it or using bands or something like that. Or a quick cut. Subdivide it again. And you can see that edge is now much harder. Okay. So that's how we can do that. Um, might be cool also for a film strip or something like that. But uh, again, it's not going to maintain 100% the volume. If you if you want to maintain the volume on this one, you probably want to do this in uh, layout or something like that instead uh, using uh, some kind of spline uh, deformer. Either one, the one provided by Newtech or the one from Deepunt.